hello students today we will discuss planck's radiation law i am dr s vipul reddy department of physics shivaji college kannad district torangabad so friends first of all we will see statement of this law so according to this law statement for wavelength lying between lambda and lambda plus d lambda total energy emitted per unit volume by perfectly black body at temperature t is given by this equation first which is e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 pi c upon lambda raised to phi u into d lambda upon e raised to c upon lambda kt minus 1 here in this diagram black body is shown and see this uh, this is black body and this inner surface is coated with lamp black and this is aperture from which the radiation can enter inside the body cavity this is radiation is it radiation and here it undergoes multiple reflections and this radiation is totally absorbed by this black body and the black body will emit this radiation at temperature t also when it is heated at this same temperature so friends you will see derivation of this planck's radiation law now there are some important postulates first is it is assumed that photons do not interact among themselves they interact only with atoms of walls of cavity here atoms of walls of cavity so second it is also assumed that photons are indistinguishable I mean friends we can't distinguish among the photons and uh, many of them can have same energy so they are uh, considered as bosons and obviously they obey bose einstein statistics now the most probable distribution of particles among various energy levels of the system obeying this b distribution law is ni is equal to gi upon is to alpha plus beta a minus 1 now n is equal to gi upon e is to alpha into e is to a upon kt minus 1 as beta is equal to 1 upon kt now friends total energy of photons inside the hollow enclosure at particular temperature t remains constant so total number of photons may be completely absorbed by on striking the walls of that cavity of that black body or the hot wall of that black body cavity may emit new photon of energy h nu that is photon may be created or destroyed summation i dni is equal to zero is no longer valid hence delta n is equal to summation i dni is not equal to zero no friends put alpha is equal to 0 in bose einstein distribution law we get n is equal to j upon e to e i upon kt minus 1 equation second now in this case the cavity of that black body is large as compared to wavelength of that incident radiation so the spectrum of photons is taken to be continuous so the energy difference between successive overload energy values is very small Thus, replacing G I by G D and N I by N E D, we get N E D N E D is equal to G E D upon E raised to E upon K T minus one equation three. Now E is equal to H nu. H is Planck constant. U is frequency. E is energy. Total energy. So value of G D can be written as G nu D nu. And G nu D nu correspond to number of oscillatory modes in the frequency range nu and nu plus D nu, and also in the range E and E plus D. So number of states in black body radiation in the frequency range nu and nu plus D nu can be obtained by calculating the spherical volume bounded by two spheres of radii H nu plus D nu upon C and H nu upon C. These are radii of the Two spheres and volume bounded by these two spheres, we have to calculate. So volume of spherical shell 
so difference between these two volumes so for third pi r cube this r r cube h cube over c cube into nu plus d nu cube and minus four third this volume four third pi r cube r r cube h cube over c cube into nu cube so four third pi h cube over c cube is taken outside the bracket as common and inside bracket expansion of this so nu cube plus 3 nu square d nu plus d dash minus this nu cube so this nu cube will get cancelled so we get 4 third pi h cube upon c cube into this 3 nu square d nu so this 3 also will get cancelled so we get 4 pi h cube upon c cube into nu square d nu equation 4 you know friends phase space has volume V, capital V is equal to H cube. H is, H is Planck's constant. So there are two states of polarization for radiation. So number of states in black body radiation in the frequency range nu and nu plus d nu is G nu d nu is equal to 2 into 4 pi V upon C cube into nu square d nu. This V is at the place of H cube. H cube. Equation 5. So is equal to 8 pi V upon C cube into nu square d nu. So substituting equation 3, number of photons in the range, frequency range nu and nu plus d nu is n nu d nu is equal to 8 pi v into nu square d nu upon c cube into 1 upon e raised to h nu upon kt minus 1 equation 6. So since each photon has energy h nu, so the energy density e nu d nu is defined as amount of energy per unit volume lying between the frequency range nu and nu plus d nu. So this is energy density in nu d nu. And here this total amount of energy upon this volume. So here n nu d nu this value. So we get in nu d nu is equal to 8 pi h into nu cube d nu upon c cube into 1 upon e raised to h nu upon kt minus 1 equation 7. This, this is Planck's radiation law for black body radiation. Now in terms of wavelength, substituting this value of nu as c upon lambda. So differentiate this uh, as d nu. d nu is equal to c is constant, so minus c upon lambda square. So put these values in equation 7. We get e lambda d lambda is equal to 8 pi h upon c cube into c upon lambda cube into c d lambda upon lambda square into 1 upon e raised to a c upon lambda kt minus 1. So simplifying this, we get 8 pi c upon lambda raised to phi u into d lambda upon e raised to a c upon lambda kt minus 1. Finally, we get this value as 8 pi h c raised to lambda raised to minus phi u upon e raised to a c upon lambda kt minus 1 equation 8. So this equation 8 represents Planck's radiation law for Black body radiation in terms of your length. Reference or your used for preparation of this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.